everyone, Itani is here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Dragon Guard 3 DLCs. Unfortunately, when I recorded Zero's Chapter Verse 1 originally, um, my game capture studio was glitching out to the point that the video ended up becoming really glitched out, and it wasn't. It was just horrible, so I have to redo that one. Um, but I did unlock the first memoir for Zero. And that's Mikhail's diary. January 12th, sunny. Today I went to the land of animals and it was great. There was a big cat with fluffy hair and an elephant with a short trunk and a horse with a big long neck and another horse that was covered in stripes. We all played in the mud and chased each other around and it was a lot of fun, but the sun was dumb and hot and I got tired real fast. Boo. Oh boy. Alright, so I'm gonna redo this for you guys. So it'll technically be the first time you've seen it, but this will be the second time I've done it because the studio was being dumb. So here we go. Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was an intoner who was infected by a flower. This intoner had five younger sisters. Each of them cursed as well. If you happen to hear giggling, the intoner began searching for a dragon. A dragon. It's my husband giggling. Every last intoner. And if you happen to hear me drinking, I gotta hold him some more pomegranate soda. Delish, delish, guys. So yummy. Anyway. After this, I will go find the rest of the weapons. Because this, all the DLCs are technically my way of grinding for money. To buy all the weapons that were in the shop. So I'm actually doing this before D, but I'm uploading them at the same time as Branch D. So, you know. Anyway! I was a refugee who had fled to the land of seas. At the same time, I was in constant pursuit of the flower. Specifically, the five incarnations of the flower that had split off from me. My sisters. I had to hunt them down. And I had to kill them all. And I didn't have much time left. We gotta keep attacking! But Lady Cerulea ordered us to- So what? Ah, I don't wanna die! Keep your head forward! I'd rather be killed by Lady Cerulea than this crazy woman. shouldn't care about chess because I got all the money I need but you know it, it can't hurt to take a look and not find anything fuck it you know what fuck it fuck it who cares about chess anymore because I don't victory to our leader You know that. 
is that? Uh, a dragon? Do you humans always attack creatures <laughs> as they peacefully soar through the sky? My name is Michael. Do you enjoy killing each other as much as you seem to? Perhaps you'd allow me to join in the fun. Let's go piss him off. You, the girl in white. Who are you? You think to give me orders? Yes. Me, an 8,000 year old dragon? Yes. The power of my fire as I turn you all to ash. God damn it! What are you doing? Make me. Unless you stop moving. Not gonna happen, dumbass. Can't deal with this shit anymore. Oh, you cannot escape me. Can't do. <laughs> what a prick. But I could really make use of that strength. I was short on time, see? I had to finish before the flower stole what little remained of me. I couldn't afford to make another mistake. I had to kill my sisters. And then, I had to destroy the flower for good. But in order to do that, there was one critical item that I absolutely had to procure. The strongest dragon in the world. Okay, later. No. Michael, stop. Michael, stop. Let's go! 
That was my first encounter with Michael. He was stupid, and not nearly as strong as he thought. So let us continue on to the second verse of Zero's chapter, and then after that it will be the end of the episode. I'm just glad that um, my studio is now working properly, which is really nice. I see. So Mikhail was Michael in the time before his reincarnation? Yeah. And what was Michael called previous to that? I don't know. Michael never liked talking about his past much. I see. Don't you think it's time you started referring to Mikhail by his name? Someday. Hey Z, you've been dealing with dragons and junk for a while, right? Mind answering a couple of questions? Sure. Ask me anything. Well, first of all, what do they like to eat? Don't know. Well, then, how do they make fire? The stuff they breathe, I mean. Don't know. Um, okay. So, I heard once that dragons don't have good peripheral vision. Don't know. What about- Don't know. <laughs> I didn't even ask a goddamn question! So, did you and this stupid dragon Michael become best buds right away, or what? What do you think? Seems doubtful. <laughs> You've been paying attention. So, did you split up after that, or what? Hold on, I'm getting to it. So I'm telling Dito and Decadus about Michael? Which branch is this? We're in the land of sands, so... Where's Octa? Did we totally, like, ditch Octa? Did we not go after three? I'm s okay, whatever. I'm asking too many questions that don't need to be asked. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet and I'll just- I'll just play the game. It's okay. Oh no. Alright. Zero was a woman like this, with her flower's curse. A flower whose history deeply intertwines with the dragon. Hey, quit narrating already. Huh? Leave me alone, girl. I have a gravely important tale to impart. I Trust me, no one gives a shit. And where the hell are we going, anyway? Ah, I think I chose to aid one with such uncouth and abhorrent taste. Okay. First of all, enough with the bullshit fancy talk. What? You dare ridicule the 12,000 years of knowledge imparted to me by me? Huh? Didn't you say 8,000 years yesterday? 
Quit fudging the numbers. Ridiculous. I would never stay at the level of you. Still, I suppose I could be convinced to try a piece if it was offered. Even a lofty dragon such as myself gets something of a sweet tooth from time to time. Alright, alright, stop. I'm like holding my breath. Oh my Jesus! Michael explained it like this. Dragons have been the natural enemies of the flower since ancient times. And dragons were the only creatures in existence that could destroy the flower. When he saw I was infected with it, it kind of hit a nerve, I guess. Michael kept describing it with words like destiny and preordained. Annoying as hell, actually. But whatever. All I needed was his help. The flower had become my sister's, and they had to be destroyed. And once that was done, I had to be destroyed as well. After I told him that, he stayed quiet for a while. No more. No more, please. Oh, God damn it! pretty agonizing decision for him. He'd been alive for a very, very long time. Long enough to know every kind of loss imaginable. And sometimes all that pain and loneliness got in the way of his thinking. But after a while, he whispered two words to me. Very well. And that was the start of our relationship.
No more. God damn it! No more. God damn it. Ah! Oh, they're getting faster. Why are they getting faster? Oh God. God damn it. Son of a bitch! No more. Not again. And now, will you tell me where we're going? The mountain. Which mountain? I believe it's called Mount Vernon. Slice. <laughs> Mount Bernstein. Huh? Mount. Speak up. The name doesn't matter. Mount Bernstein of the Holy Vice! Northern Vice, I'm sorry. It's Mount Bernstein of the Northern Vice! The dragon had lived for millennia. He had fought thousands of battles. He had lost count of how many people and other creatures he had killed. In the end, all that remained was a mountain of smoldering castles and half-burnt corpses. And over the sad and endless years, everything the dragon once believed in had become as ashes in the wind. Alrighty, everyone, that is the end of episode 13. Yes. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. The next episode will be the last of the DLCs. I'll see you then.